Good morning, ladies. I'm so um, excited to read all of the the soaps from yesterday. It was awesome to see everyone joining in. Um, I know that some of you still don't feel comfortable sharing your devotions with the group, and that's totally understandable. You guys can just send those um, to me in Messenger, and then my hope and my prayer is that eventually you will gain the confidence and trust, take that leap of faith, and trust our sisters to... Um, to share your devotions on the group. I know that Satan wants to keep you small and he does that by reminding you that, um, or encouraging you to keep your secrets locked inside. And I wanna tell you that secrets keep you sick. And so if you um, share your story with others and talk about what you're going through, it there's such healing in that because it takes away from Satan he doesn't have anything else to hold on to and there's such freedom in letting it go letting it out and having other people um, come alongside you and pray with you um, the thing that I wanted to um, talk to you guys about was I am almost done with a, a 31 day Proverbs devotional book to go along with a wretch like me my soap sisters and I um, have been working on it. So it's exactly what we're doing, but I went ahead and put it in a book to sell alongside with the other book so that people can buy it and journal through. Um, it's about to go to publishing. I got a couple more edits today to finish up on it, but I wanted to get you guys a copy of that. Um, if you send me your email, I can send you a copy of the manuscript and you can follow along with. It'll be about a week and a half, two weeks before the actual books come, but I'm super excited for that. In that though, I can still add to it as we go and I'm already seeing some awesome um, outlooks on each verse and so don't be surprised if I bug you and ask you if I could put your devotion inside of the book. You don't have to have your name on it. Um, it was just great insight and different, um, gosh we all come from different backgrounds, different walks, we've all experienced different things and it's just powerful to see how God works through all of those and he brings us all together now to share our stories. Um, one more quick thing, when you go to post your soap on the page, if you would put it underneath where I put this video. So underneath this video, in the comments, put your soaps down there, that way we're not blowing up everybody's phones all day long and then we can kind of keep it organized and um, then day one's all together, day two is all together, does that make sense? So if you could remember to do that, post it all in the same spot. So put your soap into the comments. Uh, I'm gonna pray before we get started. Dear Jesus, I thank you for these amazing women. I thank you for this group. I thank you for their vul vulnerability and their honesty and their transparency and just their um, their hearts after you, God, just like David. Um, they have a heart that just wants to search you and love you and seek you, God, and I pray that you um, prepare their hearts for what you have for them in this study. Lord, I thank you for... Um, just the opportunity to even do this, to read your word and share openly. Um, Lord, I love you and I pray this all in your name. Amen. So I'm going to read to you Proverbs 2 and I'm going to read out of the Fire Bible. Uh, it says, it's the moral benefits of wisdom. My son, if you accept my words and store my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, and if you call out for insight and cry loud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path, for wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you and understanding will guard you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked men, from whose words are perverse, who leave the straight paths to walk in dark ways, who delight in doing wrong and rejoice in the perverseness of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. It will save you also from the adulteress, from the wayward wife with her seductive words, 
who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God. For her house leads down to death and her paths to the spirits of the dead. None who go to her return or attain the paths of life. Thus you will walk in the ways of the good men and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. As I read that over and over again, I hear all of the action words pop out. Um, look for it, search for it, find, understand, protect, guard, save you, walk, um, walk again. And so it seems like a black and white of which one we would choose, but it's easier said than done sometimes. Um, the verses that I chose are 2, 3, and 4. Turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding. And if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. So the observation for that is that they're all action words. It is by faith that we have been saved, but get up and do something. Actively seek him, cry out, call out, search, seek, and be willing to dig deep. Then you will find knowledge. Um, the commentary at the bottom of the Fire Bible says, In addition to studying God's word, we must be committed to praying for wisdom and insight. Study by itself may produce a Bible scholar with book knowledge, but prayer along with Bible study allows the Holy Spirit to apply what God reveals to us and transform us into the people that God created us to be. Pray over the Bible passages you read, expressing a deep desire to understand the Word so it can come alive through you. I really liked that, um, that little clip right there. So apply it to my life. How can I apply all that to my life? Because, you know, I've already been saved. I have got six years of sobriety and uh, I feel like I'm headed down the right path. So how can I apply it to my life? It's as simple. Don't stop. The joy of the Lord comes from seeking after him. Keep going. Keep seeking. Keep reading. Keep keep looking for more and more. Um, I remember as an addict how desperate I was to get my next fix. I would lie, I would cheat, I would steal, I would do whatever it take. I took the, the most desperate, disgusting measures just to get my next fix and I was 100 miles per hour in the wrong direction. I was headed to hell and I didn't care who I was taking down with me. And so now I want to flip that and I want to be 100 miles per hour towards Jesus, towards the kingdom, and I want to take everybody with me. I want to be balls to the wall, sold out for Jesus, and I want everyone to come with me because I know the differences of life and death, and uh, walking with God is, it's like when it talks about those hidden treasures, search for it as hidden treasures, I just think of um, my kids when I do little little pirate treasure hunts with them just how excited I get to see how excited they are searching for this hidden treasure no matter what it is but just the joy that it brings them and when they actually find it and how excited they are I feel like that's that's God with us as we're walking through um, hard times God is still always kind and he always gives us those little glimpets of um, of treasure of silver and that's his way of saying, I'm right here with you. It may be hard, but I'm walking with you. And he's always kind. So to be, we talked about it in Bible study last night, to always be looking for that kindness, even though you're in the midst of a hard time, because you, God's going to purify you. You have to go through hard times. That's just life. But remembering that God's with you. And um, so finding those treasures it's just exciting and that's how following Jesus should be. And so I want more and more and more of it. And uh, that's my application is just don't stop. Just keep digging deeper and deeper. And I pray that you guys do too. So um, I want to be 100 miles per hour towards Jesus, completely sold out for him and actively continually seeking him each and every single day. Um, I know that God's will for my life is today. It's right now. It's what I'm to do today. I don't have to focus on tomorrow. God's already taken care of that. 
it's focusing on what he has for me today and most of the time that's just being a wife and a mom and a friend and um, digging into his word and seeking more and more of him like the uh, thing in the fire bible says you know studying by itself might make you a bible scholar but praying along with Bible study, allows the Holy Spirit to apply what God reveals to us and transform us into the people that God created us to be. That was huge right there. And, uh, and so I just want to pray us out. And um, dear Lord, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for second chances. Lord, thank you for the joy that you bring, even in the hard times. You are always kind. Help me to dig even deeper to the calling that you have on my life. Help these women to, to do the same, to seek after you wholeheartedly, Lord, to, to continue to um, get into your word each day, to make that habit, to set aside time specifically for you so that you can speak into their hearts and speak into their souls and bring them healing and joy, God. I pray that you protect them as they go about their day. I pray for Pam. I pray that she gets home safely. And Lord Jesus, I pray for... Um, you to be with each of these women and just know how how wonderful they are and how valuable they are and how unique they are set apart for your kingdom for your purpose god lord i love you and i pray this all in your name amen you guys have a good day